Praise the Lord and good morning to you out there in Radio Land. Thank you all so much for tuning in this Sunday morning to the radio program. I appreciate you. We appreciate you here on today. And we're thanking God for you out there in the name of Jesus. Giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor to you in the name of Jesus. Worshiping and magnifying the Lord for he is good. And he is worthy to be praised. Why don't you thank him this morning? Thank him for waking you up and starting you out on a brand new day's journey. And giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. Sending this program out to my wonderful wife, Pastor Deborah M. McCray, the senior pastor of the St. Luke Church of God Apostolic here in the city of Beckley, West Virginia. Thank God for you, Pastor Deborah, out there on today. Today is our communion Sunday, and we invite you to come and have communion with us uh, in Jesus' precious name. Send our program out to Ms. Robin Head. Thank God for you out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank God for you out there in the name of Jesus. Giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for you in Jesus' precious name. God is good, and he's good all of the time, and we thank him today in the name of Jesus. We want to thank God for all of those that have tuned in today, and we pray that the Lord is blessing you continuously. And if you woke up this morning, you are blessed of the Lord. Amen. Tell a friend to the neighbor that the program is on the air and that God has a word just for you on today. Send our program out to Ms. Vilma Evans, Ms. Mary Gray, Ms. Lydia Spencer. Thank God for you out there all on today. And we're giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for you. We're praying for those that are in convalescent homes. Those that are locked behind the prison walls, those that are about to go into surgery, we are believing God to touch you and strengthen you and praise God for your life. We're praying for those that have critical illnesses and we believe in the Lord to heal you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And we're thanking God for you to be well in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're giving God glory, and we're giving him all of the honor. Please do this selection in Jesus' precious name.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you out there all on today. We're giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor in the name of Jesus. Thank God for my sweet, wonderful wife, Pastor Deborah McCray, God's apostolic gospel preacher of the St. Luke Church of God Apostolic. We invite you there to come and to be with us in our Sunday morning service, which begins at 11 a.m. That's 106 Booker Street here in the city of Beckley, West Virginia. And we'll be so happy to have you to come and to worship with us in the name of Jesus. Send our program out. Amen. Praise God to all the pastors that are in our community. To each and every one of you out there all on today. Thank God for you uh, in the name of Jesus. Send our program out to Elder Harold Harrison and wonderful wife Lisa. Thank God for you out there all on today. Amen. Praise God. We have a dynamite word for you. Amen. This morning. Turn with me to the word of the Lord. Amen. Found in the book of John. St. John chapter 4. Amen. St. John chapter 4. Amen. Turn with us there. Go with us there. Amen. To the word of the Lord in the book of St. John chapter 4. And we want to send this program out to all of my family uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I got so many sides. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. To all of my family out there on today. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Bronx, New York, Queens, North Carolina, Tennessee. Amen. Hallelujah all over the place. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Jamaica, Queens, New Jersey, Staten Island. God bless you. In Jesus' name. St. John chapter 4. Amen. Praise God. And beginning at verse number 7. St. John chapter 4 and beginning at verse number 7. The Bible says I'm going to show you some things here before uh, I get a chance to preach a little bit here. Amen. Praise God. This morning, there came a woman of Samaritan 
to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it thou being a Jew? Ask his drink of me, a which is which am a woman of Samaritan. The Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knoweth the gift of God, and who it is that said unto thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given the living water. I want to talk to you today for a few moments here. Abundantly, above all, that you may even ask or think. Hallelujah. When, 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 when we are transformed and changed in our way of thinking, the Lord is able to deliver us and set us completely free from whatever uh, bondage we may be in. So the Bible says that the woman at the well told Jesus uh -huh, that the Samaritans have no dealings with the Jews. And that's particularly in our society on today. Uh, we have no dealings with each other. Come on somebody. Amen. We are separated uh, from the things of the Lord. Amen. But when you make up in your mind that God is everything, mm -hmm, and he is our everything, you will begin to say, Lord, I'm willing to worship and magnify the Lord, amen, with my brother and my sister in the Lord Jesus. Amen. And, and, and even those that are not in the will of God, I worship with anybody. Amen. You want to worship God? Amen. Praise God. I will worship the Lord with you. Uh-huh. You want to give God praise? I will give God praise with you. Come on, somebody. So the Bible says, There cometh a woman to draw water. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that his disciples had gone away to buy meat. Mm -hmm. And then the woman said unto him, You've asked me to give you a drink of water, but I don't even know who you are. Uh huh. And you're asking a woman of uh, Samaritan, and the woman, the people of Samaritan, had no dealings with the Jews. Come on, somebody. But we have to make up our minds and we have to change this particular lifestyle that we're in. Come on. The neighbor next door, you don't have no dealings with. You won't even say hi. You won't even say good morning. You walk past and won't even say uh, how are you. Come on now. You got to change that in the name of Jesus. You say that okay, you don't know my neighbors. Come on somebody. If you knew God and God is in you, uh -huh, it's, it's, it's nothing uh, hard for you to say good morning. It's nothing hard for you to say, how are you doing today? So the Bible says, there cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, give me to drink. Will you give to me to drink? Mm -hmm. And then the Bible goes on to continue to say, then said the woman of Samaria, she talked back to Jesus. Said, we don't have no dealings. We... I can see that you dress different. Uh huh. You don't dress the same way as a Samaritan. Mm -hmm. So that lets me know that you are not from a part of us. Uh huh. We are separated. Mm -hmm. But when we are separated, we are divided. And when we are divided, we are not together. We've got to come together in the name of Jesus. And let you know, see, see, uh, I was watching uh, some singers on YouTube one time and they were all from different parts 
of different parts of singing. They were different types of singers. But they all came together for one common cause, and that was to sing their music uh -huh, together. And you know, it was a wonderful time for them because they, 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 they had different styles of playing, uh, different styles of singing, and they didn't practice together. <laughs> you can imagine that they didn't practice together. Amen. But they came together and uh, they were uh, united and they did good coming together. But why can't the Christian world or the church world come together and lift up the name of Jesus. Why can't your musicians come together, amen, uh, and lift up the name of the Lord? No big eyes and no little U's. Why can't the preachers come together and lift up the name of Jesus? No big eyes and no little U's. Hallelujah. So the Bible said, the Bible said, the word of the Lord said, look, look here at the word of the Lord. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees <coughs> had heard that Jesus had made, had baptized more disciples than John. Though John himself baptized not but his disciples. He left Judea and departed into Galilee. And he must needs go through Samaritan. Come on somebody. Mm -hmm. you got to go through Beckley. Uh -huh. But you're going to go through Beckley, but you ain't going to say nothing to nobody. Hallelujah. You're going to pass through, but you ain't going to speak. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I remember my nephew uh, coming one time, and uh, everybody was waving, saying hi. You know them? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Some, some people I knew, some I didn't know. Amen. And they would wave and say hi, and uh, how are you? How you doing? Uh, just in cars. You know, you know how West Virginia people do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we, we're getting far away from that uh, in this lifestyle. But the Bible says that they had no dealing. They had no connection. But when Jesus came along, they had connection and they were able to come together. We need to come together. Lift up the name of Jesus. Call on him out of a pure heart. And believe God and take him at his word. Will you give to God your life on today? Will you make up in your mind say, Lord, here I am. They said I were of no value. See, the woman of Samaritan, well, I, we, we are of no value uh, to the Jews. How can we, how can I be of any help unto you. You know, you know, I, I like it when I'm able to go into a store and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, approached by uh, the proprietor at the store and they said, what can I do to help you? Uh -huh. what, 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 what are you looking for? What do you need? See, they know the store better than I do. Uh -huh. And they can point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it makes you feel more comfortable knowing that they are uh, welcoming, welcoming you into the store. We welcome you here today at the radio program. Amen. And we're giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for you and for your life. So the Bible said, then come into the city of Samaritan, which is called Sychar, near to the pearl of ground. That Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Uh -huh. Jesus therefore being weary from his journey. Set thus on the well. There cometh the woman from Samaria to draw water. He said can you give me a drink? And she said we, we don't have no dealings with the Jews. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so you know we, we don't have no dealings with that church. Or we don't have no dealings with that pastor. Oh man, I mean, you know, we're in a society today uh, where the li the lifestyles are so changed and so different. Uh huh. We don't we don't have no dealings with the apostolic. We don't have no dealings with the Baptists. We don't have no dealings with the Methodists. My friends, our lifestyles are so changed. 
Uh -huh. But see, we at the St. Louis Church of God at Bastolic, we love you all. Pastor Deborah loves everybody. <clears throat> Amen. Praise God. She loves every individual. Hallelujah. And I can tell you that I can vouch for that. That's my wife and I know. Amen. Praise God that she's a loving individual. But then we're in a society we're in a society today where we have no dealings with each other. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Because we're looking for a particular style or a particular charisma of a person. Shout out. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you here on today. Amen. Praise God. You know, you, you drive by my house all the time. My house is welcome, open, open to anybody. Amen. Praise God. You can sit in the front yard. Amen. Take a seat and have a seat. Amen. Praise God. Sit under the umbrella. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we can work together. Amen. Sit down. Amen. Praise God. I believe we'll <coughs> we'll have a cup of tea somewhere. I mean, a cup of hot, cold lemonade somewhere. Amen. For you. Glory to God. Amen. We are so separated in our society today. We are so separated. You know, I go to the marketplace and you know how people go. They know, they know. Here comes the other McCray. So they see me coming. They go down the other way. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you know, it's all right though. It, it, it's, it's okay. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because see, uh, uh, I'll, I'll stop for 15 minutes to talk to you to find out how you doing. Amen. Praise God. How's your family? Amen. The children doing okay. Glory be to God. Are they growing up too fast. Yes, I know. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Bible says we have no dealings with each other. Amen. Praise God. That individual is separated from this particular denomination. And that denomination is separated from this denomination. It need not be so. Hallelujah. In our lifestyles today. Uh -huh. But my friends, it is so. Come on, somebody, talk to me today. I'm telling you today that it is so. And I know it is so. Amen. Praise God. It is so. Mm -hmm. And we need to make up in our minds today to tell the devil we're not going to be as the Samaritans. They changed once they found out who Jesus was. Uh -huh. Come see a man which told me everything that ever I did. Uh -huh. Come see this man by the name of Jesus. That's what we need. We need to come to the man by the name of Jesus. Amen. And the separation. Mm -hmm. Family members are separated uh, from their brothers and their sisters. Won't speak. Won't talk. Come on somebody. Talk to me today. Amen. It need not be so in our lifestyles on today. That church uh, won't fellowship with this church and this church won't fellowship with that church. Uh huh. Because their views are so different. Amen. Praise God. But I'm here to tell you today that my mother raised me. Amen. Praise God to love everybody. Uh huh. I love you abundantly above all that you may even ask or think. Hallelujah. When 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 we are transformed and changed in our way of thinking, the Lord is able to deliver us and set us completely free from whatever uh, bondage we may be in. So the Bible says that the woman at the well told Jesus uh -huh, that the Samaritans have no dealings with the Jews. And that's particularly in our society on today. Uh, we have no dealings with each other. Come on, somebody. Amen. We are separated uh, from the things of the Lord. Amen. But when you make up in your mind that God is everything, mm -hmm, and he is our everything, you will begin to say, Lord, I'm willing to worship and magnify the Lord, amen, with my brother and my sister in the Lord Jesus. Amen. And, and even those that are not in the will of God, I worship with anybody. Amen. You want to worship God? Amen. Praise God. I will worship the Lord with you. Uh huh. You want to give God praise? I will give God praise with you. Come on, somebody. So the Bible says, There cometh a woman to draw water. Hallelujah. 
And the Bible said that his disciples had gone away to buy meat. Mm -hmm. And then the woman said unto him, You've asked me to give you a drink of water, but I don't even know who you are. Uh -huh. And you're asking a woman of Samaritan, and the woman, the people of Samaritan, had no dealings with the Jews. Come on, somebody. But we have to make up our minds and we have to change this particular lifestyle that we're in. Come on. The neighbor next door, you don't have no dealings with. You won't even say hi. You won't even say good morning. You walk past and won't even say uh, how are you. Come on now. You've got to change that in the name of Jesus. You say that because you don't know my neighbors. Come on, somebody. If you knew God and God is in you, uh -huh, it's, it's, it's nothing uh, hard for you to say good morning. It's nothing hard for you to say how are you doing today. So the Bible says, There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. Will you give to me to drink? Mm -hmm. And then the Bible goes on to continue to say, Then said the woman of Samaria, She talked back to Jesus. Said, We don't have no dealings. We, I can see that you dress different. Uh huh. You don't dress the same way as a Samaritan. Mm -hmm. So that lets me know that you are not from a part of us. Uh -huh. We are separated. Mm -hmm. But when we are separated, we are divided. And when we are divided, we are not together. We've got to come together in the name of Jesus. And let you know, see, see, uh, I was watching uh, some singers on YouTube one time. And they were all from different parts of different parts of singing. They were different types of singers. But they all came together for one common cause. And that was to sing their music uh -huh, together. And you know it was a wonderful time for them. Because they, 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 they had different styles of playing. Uh, different styles of singing. And they didn't practice together. <laughs> you can imagine that they didn't practice together. Amen. But they came together. And uh, they were uh, united. And they did good. Coming together. But why can't the Christian world or the church world come together and lift up the name of Jesus? Why can't your musicians come together, amen, uh, and lift up the name of the Lord? No big eyes and no little U's. Why can't the preachers come together and lift up the name of Jesus? No big eyes. And no little use. Hallelujah. So the Bible said, the Bible said, the word of the Lord said, look, look here at the word of the Lord. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees <coughs> had heard that Jesus had made, had baptized more disciples than John. Though John himself baptized not but his disciples. He left Judea and departed into Galilee. And he must needs go through Samaritan. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. You got to go through Beckley. Uh huh. But you're going to go through Beckley, but you ain't going to say nothing to nobody. Hallelujah. You're going to pass through, but you ain't going to speak. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I remember my nephew uh, coming one time and uh, everybody was waving, saying hi. You know them? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Some, some people I knew, some I didn't know. Amen. And they would wave and say hi and uh, how are you? How you doing? Uh, just in cars. You know, you know how West Virginia people do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we, we're getting far away from that uh, in this lifestyle. But the Bible says that they had no dealing. They had no connection. But when Jesus came along, they had connection and they were able to come together. We need to come together, lift up the name of Jesus, call on him out of a pure heart and believe God and take him at his word. 
Will you give to God your life on today? Will you make up in your mind say, Lord, here I am. They said I was of no value. See, the woman of Samaritan, well, I, we, we are of no value uh, to the Jews. How can we, how can I be of any help unto you? You know, you know, I, I like it when I'm able to go into a store and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, approached by uh, the proprietor at the store and they said, what can I do to help you? Uh huh. What, 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 what are you looking for? What do you need? See, they know the store better than I do. Uh-huh. And they can point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it makes you feel more comfortable knowing that they are uh, welcoming, welcoming you into the store. We welcome you here today at the radio program. Amen. And we're giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for you and for your life. So the Bible said, then come into the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the pearl of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And now Jacob's well was there. Uh -huh. Jesus, therefore, being weary from his journey, set thus on the well. There cometh the woman from Samaria to draw water. He said, can you give me a drink? And she said, we, we don't have no dealings with the Jews. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, so, you know, we, we don't have no dealings with that church. Or we don't have no dealings with that pastor. Oh, man. I mean, you know, we're in a society today uh, where the, li the lifestyles are so changed and so different. Uh-huh. We don't, we don't have no dealings with the apostolic. We don't have no dealings with the Baptist. We don't have no dealings with the Methodists. My friends, our lifestyles are so changed. Uh huh. But see, we at the St. Louis Church of God, Apostolic, we love you all. Pastor Deborah loves everybody. <clears throat> Amen. Praise God. She loves every individual. Hallelujah. And I can tell you that and I can vouch for that. That's my wife, and I know. Amen. Praise God that she's a loving individual. But then we're in a society. We're in a society today where we have no dealings with each other. Come on, somebody, mm -hmm. because we're looking for a particular style or a particular charisma of a person. Shout out, hallelujah! But I'm here to tell you here on today. Amen. Praise God. You know, you, you drive by my house all the time. My house is welcome, open, open to anybody. Amen. Praise God. You can sit in the front yard. Amen. Take a seat and have a seat. Amen. Praise God. Sit under the umbrella. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we can work together. Amen. Sit down. Amen. Praise God. I believe we'll <coughs> we'll have a cup of tea somewhere. I mean, a cup of hot, cold lemonade somewhere. Amen. For you. Glory to God. Amen. We are so separated in our society today. We are so separated. You know, I go to the marketplace and you know how people go. They know, they know. Here comes another McCray. So they see me coming. They go down the other way. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you know, it's all right though. It, 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 it's, it's okay. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because see, uh, 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 I, I'll stop for 15 minutes to talk to you to find out how you doing. Amen. Praise God. How's your family? Amen. The children doing okay. Glory be to God. Uh, they growing up too fast. Yes, I know. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Bible says we have no dealings with each other. Amen. Praise God. That individual is separated from this particular denomination. And that denomination is separated from this denomination. It need not be so. Hallelujah. In our lifestyles today. Uh -huh. But my friends, it is so. Come on, somebody, talk to me today. I'm telling you today that it is so. And I know it is so. Amen. Praise God. It is so. Mm -hmm. And we need to make up in our minds today to tell the devil we're not going to be as the Samaritans. They changed once they found out who Jesus was. Uh huh. Come see a man which told me everything that ever I did. Uh huh. Come see this man by the name of Jesus. That's what we need. We need to come to the man by the name of Jesus. Amen. And the separation. Mm -hmm. Family members are separated uh, from their brothers. 
and their sisters won't speak, won't talk. Come on, somebody, talk to me today. Amen. It need not be so in our lifestyles on today. That church uh, won't fellowship with this church, and this church won't fellowship with that church, uh, uh -huh, because their views are so different. Amen. Praise God. But I'm here to tell you today that my mother raised me, amen, praise God, to love everybody. Uh huh. I love them to God. Amen. Praise God. If you were ever left in life, you got to come to the Lord while the blood is running warm in your veins. You got to make up in your mind, praise God, that I'm not going to be separated. Amen. I'm not going to be divided. I'm going to stand on every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. For the Bible said, for God said <clears throat> that we ought to love one another. You ought to love your brother and your sister in the Lord. You ought to love that. In the, I know our views are so different. Amen. Praise God. Uh, because society has made it that way. But when you make up in your mind. Amen. Praise God. That I love Elder McCray. Hallelujah. Amen. When you make up in your mind. Praise God. That I, I, I love that individual. With the love of Jesus. Then God said that I can step in. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You approach know, drive by my house. They wave and say hi. Amen. Praise God. And I wave back and say, how you doing? Amen. Praise God. Out cutting grass or cleaning up the yard or doing something. Amen. Praise God. To try to, amen, beautify the neighborhood. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible says for his disciples were gone away. And when they come back, here comes Jesus talking to a woman of Samaritan. Uh-huh. And, and, and in their mind said, we don't have no dealings. Hallelujah with these kind of these kind of people. Come on, somebody. The devil is a liar. You gotta make up in your mind. Hallelujah. You say, devil, you, you are a liar and the father of every lie. Mm -hmm. You are a liar and the father of it. Uh-huh. That's the work of the enemy. The enemy separates people today. <coughs> Not God, but the enemy. The enemy separates the people of God. Uh huh. The enemy puts a cut, uh huh, in the things of the people of the Lord, and the spirit of jealousy comes in. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about what you got, what you have, how you how you got it. Amen. Praise God. Jealousy was in the Paul and Silas. Je the spirit of jealousy, uh huh, came in. Glory be to God. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried about what you have. Amen. And I'm not after what you got. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I want you to know that Jesus said, will you give to me? Will you give unto the Lord your life today? Will you give unto him today your love? Amen. For the love of people. Will you make up in your mind today? Amen. Praise God. Jesus had found love. And he was the God of love. Amen, praise God. And he loved, amen, praise God, the woman of Samaritan. Amen. And when she found out who he was, come on, somebody. When you find out who he is, hallelujah. Amen. When you open up your mind, open up your life, and find out who he is, your life will change tremendously. But will you give to God today while the blood is running warm in your veins? You got to make up in your mind. Today is my day. Amen. Praise God to give unto the Lord. Amen. My life. Hallelujah. On today. My time is coming and going. Amen. Praise God. But will you give? In Jesus' name. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' name. I love you. Amen. God bless you. Amen.